Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and most definitely welcome back to some more Attack of the Beeping guys. Now today in today's episode guys I want to talk about the witch's oven again and what it can create and that is fumes guys. If I jump out into my normal view here and go into my inventory uh, and I be screen I have here the witchcraft collecting fumes book. Now we need to make this book guys in order to get into fumes. As you can see here I made a few earlier in practice. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to get this book and get it up and running. So if you give me a second guys, I'll be right back and uh, we will get started. Okay guys, I am back and I am in the uh, crafting station. I use the crafting station because your your items stay in there when you want them to stay in there. And if I believe, what, it did, what did it say here? It said that it's a belladonna, which I've been growing out of feather and a book. So first, guys, we have to make a, we have to make some some paper. So we've got some paper, and it was paper is right here, and it is what? Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to look up the recipe to make a book. I've been so long, I actually forgot it from good old regular Minecraft. So we have to add a piece of leather, guys, and bam, we get a book. So now we put that book in the. Look it up real quick. We put the Belladonna, which I think I have some of that, right here in the top. Put the ink sack here, right? Uh, then we put the, the charcoal there. And, uh, hmm, okay, messing this up. It's a feather, okay. Where the feather go? We got one here. And after scrambling to figure it out, guys, <laughs> we've got one. Witchcraft collecting fumes book. So I'll open it up. We'll go here and left click and it says here witchcraft collecting fumes The witch's oven gives a practitioner of the arts and the opportunity to collect the fumes that may be produced when cooking Remember that the oven cannot smell ore, but it does cook a little faster than a furnace We'll click here and it says place clay jars in the oven when cooking to collect the fumes fuel food is a uh, foul fume and the wood is I'm not sure what that means and you cook saplings to produce wood ash that which may release the gaseous essence of trees uh, Then you right here. You can make uh, oak makes uh, exalt of the horn one birch makes breath of the goddess Spruce is a hint of rebirth and rowan which can only be made with a later substance called uh, butan disguise and the same thing with hawthorn and alder reek of misfortune and odor of purity uh, and rowan is a uh, whiff of magic and that appears to be it. So we'll get into making some some foul fumes, guys. So hold on, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm inside of the witch's oven, as you can see here, and we're gonna try and make some some uh, fumes. So what was it? If you made, if you put in oak wood, you get what? What, what did it say? You guys remember? So we're just gonna burn some oak wood, and I think the byproduct of oak wood is ash. No. No, it's charcoal, sorry. So it's charcoal. Uh, I should remember that because I, I tried it earlier. Uh, so, okay, there we go, guys. So when you burn oak woods, uh, wood, you get a foul fume. And that's how you get a foul fume. Now, if we burn, what is it, oak wood saplings, what do we get? All right, and I got some experience there for uh, making charcoal. So if we burn oak wood saplings, we have a chance to get, uh, what did it say, um, uh, is it exalt, uh, exhale the horn one? But as you can see here, we've got ash, guys, and we're, we're burning, there's a chance to burn through every one of these oak wood saplings in order to get one foul fume, or uh, exhale the, uh, of the horn one. So if it doesn't make one soon, guys, I'll just cut back until we have one in hand and able to use it. Bam, there we go, guys. We'll take out the oak saplings and we get an exhale of the horn one. And then what do we get if we burn, uh, what is this, birch? Yeah, there we go. We'll be lucky, come on, can we be lucky number one? And yes, we get, what is this? Breath of the Goddess. Okay, guys. So, what do we what do we have left? Spruce saplings, guys. And remember, every time you burn them, there's a chance that you could burn each one, and all you get is uh, wood ash. But if we pop in the 
uh, spruce. What what do we get? Uh, we're gonna pop out and we'll collect the wood ash because we need that to make our next item. Come on, big money. Oh, geez, look. We got a hint of rebirth. Fantastic, fantastic. We didn't get anything there. Okay, guys, so that makes the, uh, the, the product that you need for making your 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 i guess your ingredients your witchcraft ingredients uh so we'll hop out real quick and if you guys haven't remembered haven't forgotten i'll explain how to make uh jars i'll take the ink out we don't need that put one here one here one here and one here guys and just like this little uh in the crafting station you make four for clay and then you smelt those in an oven and then you make your clay jars so guys in the next video or in that well, the next section i will show you what happens when you can when you combine these ingredients uh to make where is it butan here we go guys butan this and it's wood ash, which we've got plenty of, a mandrake root, a hint of rebirth, we have an egg, which I think is in my chest, and a cactus green. So guys, I'll come back, gather those ingredients from out of the chest. Okay guys, I am back. I've gathered the ingredients, I'm in the workbench, and we're gonna make some new tandas, guys. Uh, so while, while I was off camera, guys, I figured out that if you press this question mark, it'll help you build the, build the uh, new tandas here. So what we need guys is a mutandus here, mutandus, uh, wood ash here, wood ash there. We take our dye, put it here. We take our mandrake root, drop it there. Absolutely, put our egg in this spot right there. And then we put our hint of rebirth, guys. And uh, what happened? Did it make it? No? What happened? Oh, hey guys, I'm back. I forgot to put in the bone meal got so excited that I messed it up so as you can see here guys we get eight bone meal for all these single ingredients so we I'll put this right here and bam this guys enables us to mutate grass and to think wood saplings in order to hold on let me grab a wood sapling here let me just grab all these back and see what I can make guys so if I drop a tree and then I was it left click or right click it oh see ooh. We made roses, guys. Oop! And here, guys, this is how what we need. We need to just get this, because we need that. What, can we, what if we do this? Ooh, dead, dead bush. Ooh, lily pad. No. Oh, alder. Yes, we need that as well. That's part of the witchcraft mod, guys. Oh, right. Oops. There we go. Hawthorn. Oh, we need this one too. Oh, sweet, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. We have rowan sapling, alder and a uh, hawthorn all three we need for the witchcraft mod all in one shot guys ho 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 so so yeah guys i am going to uh make some more of this mutandus i'm gonna go back to my hut and uh create some more and gather some more of the cool 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 uh stuff you can create with mutandus like if you hit here what happens Bam, I got another order, and I'm out right now, guys. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode uh, on the Witchcraft mod uh, and the Witch's Oven and the Foul Fumes and the Mutandus that you could make with all these fumes. Hit that like button, guys, if you like the video, and uh, share it with your friends, and uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this little spotlight here of the Witch's Oven and the Fumes. And uh, guys, I will see you next time when we will co hopefully come back with another cool little piece of the witchcraft mod. Later, guys. Peace. Whoa, that's pretty neat. Hey, guys. I, uh, I've i been messing around with the Matanda some more, and I created some something interesting. I made this ember moss here, which you have to, I believe, pick up with... Uh, with the shears but watch what happens if you walk into it oh i'm on fire oh I'll jump in there cool off fantastic i'm flaming Whew, geez all right so we'll immediately pick that up guys we don't want to fall into that so you pick that up with uh the shears and also i created some spanish moss here you also have to pick that up 
with shears. Uh, and the glint weed, I don't think you need to pick it up. Oh, here you go. I made some Spanish moss earlier here. Oh, click it. There we go. And you've got two now, guys. All right, and I believe that you don't have to pick up the glint weed with the thing. You just break it, and yeah. And it also produces light, guys. And I also created some more, uh, another hawthorn sapling. And I created something else, didn't I? Oh, man. I must have accidentally clicked my F7. I'll turn that off real quick. I didn't even realize that. I must have bumped it uh, when changing. So yeah, guys. And you're probably wondering, hey, movie, why are you uh, in the middle of the nowhere here uh, and not back at your witch's hut? Well, um, there is an issue that you have to hear to believe. Um, I'm going to pick up my stuff here and uh, put it back in the uh, witch's hut and then you guys can hear what my problem is so guys in a second I'll be right back hang tight and you get to hear what my problem is <laughs> oh guys you hear that sound that is the sound of a fire alarm I've been looking all over for it uh, and I can't seem to find it I don't know where it's coming from it sounds like it's coming from over yonder here but I can't really tell. It's like, like it's kind of like an ambulance when you hear it on the road. It sounds like it's coming from everywhere. Even with my uh, headphones on, it sounds like it's everywhere. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let me jump out of there and then turn back into myself. So I'm not quite sure. I'll put this. I'll put all. Well, I didn't put any of this stuff back yet. So let me run over here real quick, guys, and uh, put this stuff away. Uh, I'll need all this and while I was away guys I also uh, bone milled up some some trees from earlier so we'll take a look at that real quick I've got I've got some mushrooms here guys but as you can see guys here's the rowan tree uh, we have a hawthorn right here and another alder and another rowan tree and yeah, so I bone mill some more stuff up uh, to get these beautiful trees going, guys. And as you can see them from here, oh, fell in the water. They're pretty neat looking. And I believe the Rowan tree has Rowan berries that you can pick. If I can get up there, no, can I get them? No, I can't right now. They're probably not ripe yet. And, uh, Here's a little garden guys i had some flowers in here but they were borrowed uh hopefully i'll get them back soon uh so yeah guys that's why i wasn't in the hut because i couldn't do the entire recording with that beeping noise uh carrying on it's can you hear that like right over here it sounds like it's coming from way over there I'm not sure why oh i was digging guys and i found this cool skull <laughs> close the door and also, I went exploring, guys, and I also found a a a cauldron here. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna sign off again, guys. Like I said, if you've enjoyed it, share it and all that other cool stuff. And I will see you next time, guys. Peace.